like TJ said, I really, really enjoy graphic novels. And, you know, one of the things that we do when we go, so, you know, one of the things that you learned about me is that I love playing video games. But then the other thing that you don't know about me is that I love comic books. So one of the things that we do every summer is that we actually go to San Diego Comic Con. And this was one of the books that we picked up last year when we went. All right, so this one is called Pilu and, uh, uh, of the Woods. Sorry, I'm hearing myself over here on the other phone and it's kind of distracting, so I'll just try to focus. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Willow. Come look at this. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite flowers, a magnolia blossom. It always reminds me of you and your sister. Sniff. Of us? Magnolias are a very old species, you know. They, they evolved to have big, tough petals to withstand all kinds of things even broad, sturdy leaves as big as my hand. But oh, when they bloom, they fill these woods with the sweetest smell of spring. It reminds me that tenderness and strength go hand in hand. They grow together just like my girls. Willow, what is it? Do you want to make a promise with me? A promise? Sorry, I'm pretty bad at sound effects, so please don't laugh. <laughs> You're doing great. So we see, great. So we see people playing, people having fun at lunch, and there's Willow reading by herself, sipping her apple juice. Hey, Willow. <laughs> you want to play handball with us? M me? Yeah, come on. Okay. Wait a sec, I take that back. I forget we have a rule that we don't play with wusses. What? Some girls said they heard you crying in the bathroom yesterday, like a baby. Ha 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 ha. All alone, what a loser. I, I, oh crap, you're gonna make her cry again. I'm not, I was, I, I just, if you're going to cry, go do it in the bathroom, cry baby, and take your nerdy textbooks to keep you company. It's kind of mean, right? It's very mean. Ha 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 ha. So I'm guessing that this is after school. Shut up. What the? Ah. So there's Willow at the bus stop. Sniff. Hick. I don't want to go home. Any ideas why she doesn't want to go home? Mm, let's think about that, right? Woof. Hey, Chicory. Willow. Uh-oh. You. Inside. Now. I just got a, another call from Mrs. Freed. What were you thinking, Well. Punching Kevin Holt in the face? Honestly, you've been completely out of control lately. I've been juggling so much in the past six months, but you've been nothing but a pain. I know it's hard. I really do. But you need to grow up a bit. Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Well, I don't care. Yikes. What did you say? I don't, I said, I don't care. I punched Kevin Hold in the face because he was an, an annoying jerk with stupid hair. And now you're being just as annoying. What? Why can't everyone just leave me alone? Hey, I'm still talking to you. Where do you think you're going, you little? It's none of your business. Quit acting like mom. Do you remember what tomorrow is, don't you, Will? Roof. It's mom's birthday, and she's not going to like the way that you've been acting lately. We both promised her. Shut up. You're a stupid face. 
Ugh. Fine. Be that you way, you little nut. I don't care either. So it looks like they live in the woods, right? Or nearby the woods. Looks like he, Willow's going off on a trail. Shh. Chirp, 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 chirp. Shh. Splish splash. Stomp, stomp. Grow up a little. Out of control. These seem to be kind of Willow's thoughts, right? I wonder what these are here. Ah, stupid Linnea. Acting, always acting like she's so smart. She doesn't get anything. Russell. Shh. Hick, hick. Shh. Shh. Sniff. Shh. You ever been in the woods and you kind of like hear like whispering of wind? I wonder what this is. This looks kind of like maybe a memory. Shh. Hey, mom. Plip, plop, 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 plop. Plip, plip. What is it, Willow? What is it? Why did she have to bring up mom? Now, you want to sit here with us? Say hi to everybody. <laughs> All right. Hick, 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 hick. Sniff, hick. Wah! What was that? Did you hear that, chicory? Roof! Sniff, hick, hick. Did you find something? Sniff, gulp. I think, crunch. It's coming from... Here, gasp. Looks like a little girl. Whoa, sob, sniff, sniff. Looks like she's crying. Oh, hello, hick, sniff. Is everything okay? Why are you crying? I wasn't crying. You know, it's okay to cry sometimes. I agree with that. Hold the book, please. Yeah. I am Willow. What's your name? Leave me a rough. Chico for short. Chico, be gentle. Hey, I think he likes you. Huff. So what are you doing all alone in the woods? I live here. Here? In the woods? All by yourself? Oh, there we go. No, I, sorry. It paused for a second there. Sniff. I mean, I run away from home after fighting with my mother but now I'm not sure where I am. She never let me leave our grove. I just wanted to explore after being cooped up. All the way. Sorry. I didn't want to be so mean, but it's like she never listens to me. Like I'm not even, like I'm not even there. Looks like these are all intruding thoughts, right? What do you mean I can't go? I want to go. You have to go back. What did you say? Maybe I can help you get home, but trust me, I know this area really, really well. Um, my dad and I come out here all the time. Just tell me what part you live in. I'm not sure, but 
It's a little grove with lots of trees like me. When our flowers bloom, it makes the whole grove smell so sweet. Trees. Leaves look like this. Put much beer on the grown-ups. Wait. Why doesn't bloom like this? Doesn't bloom this time of year, but you should see me in the spring. My hair blossoms with these big flowers. Hey, wait a minute. White flowers that bloom in the spring and the shape of these leaves. I think I just know, might know where you were from. Gasp. My mom and I hiked there once. If we follow the creek a little ways up, through a path of button fern, and just past the trail of wallflowers, we'll find a grove of magnolia trees. It's gotta be that one. I can take you there. Wait, I don't wanna go home. I can't go home. But are you gonna just hide here until the bad things go away? All alone? No, I... She doesn't want me home. She doesn't care. That's not true. She probably didn't want you to leave home because she was worried that something bad might happen. At least let me show you how to get home. But and then you can decide what you want to do. Please. Okay. Phew. We just gotta get back on the trail. Follow me. Pilu. What? Pilu, that's my name. Hi, Pilu. Hello, Willow. That's a really pretty name. Chirp, chirp. Crunch, crunch. Sniff, sniff. I wonder why she's sniffing. Maybe she's sad. You know, I bet. I bet you're thinking, your mom's thinking about you right now. I bet she misses you a lot. Still quiet. No, she doesn't. She just, why? Ow, Pilu. Are you okay? Careful, the ground is all mushy from last night's rain. Ow, what did I trip on? Oh my gosh. What is this? You mean mushrooms? Mushrooms? Sniff. But mushrooms never grow as grow this big at home. Really, it must be from all the rain in the past few days. They just pop up everywhere. They really like the water and the dark. I had no idea they could grow this so large. You know, it might seem like they appear overnight. But most of the mushroom growing, mushroom is growing underground where we can't see them. And they're all growing from together from one big root. So once it rains, they burst, they just burst out from the ground. And sometimes they appear just as, disappear as quickly as they appeared. I had no idea. But do you know what's even cooler? The roots grow outwards from the center. So when the nutrients in the middle are all used up, you end up with a circle of mushrooms. But between us, I think it's more than just a circle. What do you mean? My mom calls them fairy rings, where fairies come and dance. Fairies? 
Yeah, maybe just forward spirits like you, Pilu, like me, like me. But oh, but be careful. Some mushrooms you can cook into mushroom rice like my mom does. Some can make you real sick. It's hard to tell. Chico knows all too well. How do you know all these things? You know about these woods more than me and I live here. My dad, he's a professor. He teaches about plants and insects and fungi. It's really cool. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Not everyone thinks so though. People at school think it's weird. They call me a know-it-all and stuff. But I want to know more. Yeah, for some reason it's lagging. All right, there we go. So my dad has this really cool book. No. Go get the, the charger for the phone, Penny. All right. All right, here we go. We use all kinds of plants around here. It's kind of like a game. You have to look at the shape of the leaf and how they grow in the stem because each plant is unique. On weekends, my dad and I come out here and he helps name all the plants along the creek. From the tallest tree to the tiniest flower. Even I have my own sketchbook of all the favorite plants. Like which ones? Hmm, let me see. That's always such a tough question. Is the church over here? Yeah, go get the park. Orchids are super pretty and carnivorous plants are really my all-time favorites are wisteria coast redwood lily of the valley and magnolia flowers it's my mom's favorite too like me Yep, just like you, Pilu. Okay. Twelve sisters? Linnea is my only sister, and I thought that that was bad. Yes, I have to share everything with everyone all the time, even when we go berry picking. The berries that grow near the grove are so sweet and juicy. I wish I could just eat them all by myself. Yum. A big family sounds like fun. You're never really alone. It's okay. Sometimes when there are many of us, I can feel even lonelier. Sometimes I feel like I could just disappear and no one would notice. Is that why you ran away? To disappear? I don't really think that things can just disappear. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it's not important. Doesn't mean that it's gone. That's how it is in nature. That always says that you gotta be gentle to the woods.
easy to step on a stick or ruin an animal's home without realizing it. And our little actions can echo far beyond these trees. We gotta be careful not to hurt the things around us because nothing's really ever gone forever. Not words, not things, not people. Everything leaves a little mark. That's why you can't just disappear, Pilu. I even have proof. Proof? I found you. Rough, even Chico agrees. Rough, rough. Hey, you know what would make you feel better? Hmm? What is that? Sniff, sniff. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Have you ever had one? I shoved it in my pocket on my way out. Peanut butter? Here, try some. It's so good. Chomp. It's, it's delicious, right? Mm, it's so sticky and sweet. You want to know what the secret, what, it, sorry. Want to know the secret to a good PB&J? You got to spread the peanut butter on both sli bread slices and the jelly goes in the middle. That way, the jelly won't make the bread soggy. That's probably why my sandwich survived in my pocket. Linnea, my sister, taught me that trick. Oh, your sister is very clever, Willow. Eh, she's just annoying most of the time, especially when she acts like she's my mom or something. But I guess. I guess she does make the best PB&J sandwich. What makes them special is that she always uses our dad's strawberry jam. If she's in a good mood, she'll add apple slices too. She never forgets to cut the crust off for me and dad. I wonder how many of you guys like your PBJs without crusts. I, why can't everyone leave me alone? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Quit acting like my mom. I said I don't care. Willow? I think I messed up again. Hmm? I got into another fight with Lynn after school today. I told her I didn't care about anything. I called her mean names. I promised I would never do that again. I promised I would be good. Why do I always do this? Why do I always let the little monsters take over? Monsters? Angry little monsters. That's what I call them. They live in your head and they're louder than your heart. The smallest things seem to set them off. They're, they always start off with a whisper, then a never ending chatter. They keep growing and growing and while you're not looking. They can make your mind all hot and foggy. And then before you know it, the little monsters aren't so little anymore. And the only way to make them go away is to say the thing, the worst things that you never wanted to say. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you have them too? I think that's why I ran away from home. 
They might not exactly be exactly like yours, but they still make me feel helpless. Yeah, that's why I have to shut them away so that they can never grow. Looks like they're in jars. So I can keep my promise. But that, does that really help Willow? Ignoring them? We, we should keep going. Since it looks like it might rain soon. We only have a little bit more to go till we reach the grove. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to switch over to my camera. Sorry guys. I'm gonna try to do the best that I can here, okay? No right, problem. So, there you go. All right. So we're right here at the bottom. Penny, get off my face. Thank you. All right. So I'm just gonna focus on the images as much as I can, okay guys? Sorry about that. No problem. So we're right here. We only have a little bit more to go till we reach the grove. Okay. Keep hiking. Looks like they're thinking. Pilu found some daisies. Oh, but those are oxide daisies. They don't smell very good, do they? Want to hear something cool about daisies? A single daisy is actually a cluster of flowers. The little petals are called ray flowers because they look like the sun's rays. And the center is actually made up of a bunch of circle-shaped flowers called disc. I guess that's not really a cool fact. It's kind of a boring fact. Ha, ha, ha. My tummy hurts. Are you scared? What if she doesn't care, really care? What if she really doesn't care? I yelled at her, Willow, and she looked so upset. What if she doesn't even want me home? I'm just one less sapling to worry about. You know, I meant it when I said your mom wouldn't worry so much about you leaving home if she didn't care, don't you think? My mom and I got into a fight a while ago. I just wanted to go see the fish swim upstream during the rain. and I wanted to try out my new rain boots. But it was starting to rain really hard that day, and my mom still had to go to town for some groceries. I knew the woods so well, but she said it was too dangerous to go by myself. And it made me just, it just made me so upset. What a dumb thing to get mad about. I wish I had never said the things I said. I never got, I really, I never really got to apologize but the bad feelings stay. It's like a spore. It just takes a second to drop and a long time to grow. And it just keeps growing. But you can still make it better. You can go back and tell your mom how you feel. You can still. No! You don't understand, Willow. You don't know what it's like to feel invisible. My mother always cares, is always too busy caring for these woods. But you have a sister who makes you perfect sandwiches. Hey. And a father who teaches you everything. And a mother who takes you to the magnolia grove. You have no idea what it's like to be lonely. Thump, 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 thump. Sounds like something's coming. Willow? Do you want to make a little promise with me? Oh my gosh, is that sniff, sniff. Crack. Stop it. Thump. Rumble, rumble. 
you're only here because you think your mom always will always your mom will always be home you don't think the monsters would you don't think the monsters won't even hurt her but the monsters don't just disappear when you look away they just get that much meaner and that much bigger that's why we have to shut them away i have to stop them from growing and spreading because the hurt never really goes away pilu looks like the monsters are out you have to go home you have to go back before what what before it's too late Shh. mom isn't home yet it's been a while since she left for the store hasn't it well phew we're getting a lot getting a lot of rain this year ugh i'm hungry when's dinner all right why don't you give why don't we give her a ring Sit tight. I think we're having mushroom rice tonight. Oh, ring. Willow. Huh? Crack. Ruff, ruff. The monsters. They're, they're real? Willow, willow, willow. Run. Come we go. What? Why? Just run. Are, are they dangerous? Yes. No. I don't know. Then why are we running? They're a part of you, huff, huff, and you're not dangerous. So how can they be? Willow, Willow, just keep running, what? They're not part of me, I'm not like them. Those monsters aren't who I am. They only make me angry and selfish and mean. I have to keep my promise. Willow, 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 Willow. It looks kind of creepy. Did we outrun them? Willow, maybe they don't want to hurt us. What? The more you ignore something, the louder it gets. No one likes being ignored. Nobody likes feeling invisible. If shutting them away only makes them angrier, maybe we should sit, we should stop and listen. Maybe we could just, Pilu, watch out, huh? No, Willow, stop. Leave her alone. Let me go, please. Willow, Willow, Willow. Let her go. I don't want this. I never wanted this. Why are you always messing things up? Why did you make me say those things to mom that day? Why can't you just stay quiet? No, Willow, rumble, what? Hiss, hiss. Willow, listen. Willow, Willow, nobody likes to be ignored. Willow, Willow. Promise that you'll always show strength through kindness and compassion. I will, I promise. Me too. I was getting it wrong the whole time, wasn't I? I wasn't keeping my our promise at all. I was always hurting you. I thought being strong meant not crying or whining or complaining or being sad, but I was wrong. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for never listening to you. I'm sorry that I hurt us even more. I was never kinder or stronger without you. I was all alone and you were all alone, but I don't want to hurt you or me or anyone anymore. I promise to always be there for you. So please, please come home with me, please. Rumble, rumble, willow, crack. It's a very dramatic page. Willow, crack. Willow?
Lynn? Will? Why are you up so late? You have an early you have early bird schedule tomorrow. Can't sleep again? Well, I'm having trouble falling asleep too. Want to sleep here tonight? You know, Will. You know I'm always here for you. Yeah. And you're always right here right here for me, right? Yeah. I bet mom would be real proud of us for keeping our promise. Willow. Willow, gasp. You're alive. Woof. Woof, what happened? Woof. Willow, we were so worried. We thought you were dead. Dead? What happened to the little monsters? They disappeared. I thought they would eat you up, but they just vanished. But they did leave you a little gift. A fairy ring. You guys see it? The mushrooms? I was thinking that maybe monsters are like mushrooms. Every forest has mushrooms, mushrooms, and sometimes the rain and the dark can make them pop out of nowhere and grow and grow. Because, you know, they all share a, a root. Yeah, we just need to figure out which ones are bad and which ones are good. Yeah, but that's the hard part. I guess we can study them and learn more about them. Become experts like your father and sketch them in my journal. Yes, then we'll be the, the best at picking out the ones that make the tastiest dishes. Yes, or the ones that make the best fairy rings to dance in. Yeah. Willow, hmm? Yawn. I think I want to go home. Come on, Pilo, I can show you the way. Pilo, it's just through these shrubs. Oh. Gasp. Oof. Runs. Pilu. Huh? Looks like she's hugging the tree. Wah! Chirp, chirp. Whisper, 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 whisper. Whisper, whisper. Gulp. Hello, I'm Willow. Whisper, whisper. I'm Pilu's friend. Whoosh. Nice to meet you, too. Boo! Ah! Did I scare you? Hi, Pilu. I talked to Mother Willow. What did she say? I told her about my little monsters and how feeling lonely makes them louder. Mother's little monsters make her worry too much about us. She says it's harder for her to listen to us when she feels like that. Even my sisters were worried. We promise to be kinder to, monster, to our monsters and to each other. I can even go exploring as long as my, my sisters or a friend like you. Um, as long as I'm with my sisters or a friend like you. Pilu, that's so great. Whoosh, whoosh. She likes you. You know, Willow, your father's right. Bad things don't just disappear. That's why we have to take care of the things we love. That reminds me, I have something for you. For me? Here. Maybe. Maybe you can give it to your mother. I think she would like it. Magnolias are her favorite. I know. Oh, mother is asking if you'll stay for dinner. I'd, I'd love to, but I think I want to head home too. Hey, Willow. Hmm? I'm, I'm feeling a little bit braver than I was before I met you. And thank you for helping me find my way home. You helped me too, Pilu. Woo. Can I come see you again? Yes, and the next time you have to bring your sketchbook. It's a promise.
I'm home. I'm sorry, I'm late, girls. Office hours ran a later today. Hey. Linnea? Dad. Dad. Dad, I think I messed up again. I got into a fight with Will, and she ran off into the woods, but it's already dark, and she's not back yet. I don't know what to do, Dad. That's good. She knows the woods well, and Chicory will keep her safe. Let's grab some flashlights and oof, woof, is that Willow. Will? Willow, where have you been? You know you have to be home by dinner. Why did you, Lynn? Lynn, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for saying mean things to you. I don't think that you're a blank face. And I do, I care a lot. Well, I'm sorry too for being so bossy sometimes and for not listening to you enough. Hick, hick. And you're right, Kevin Holt does have some dumb hair. Hey. Ooh. Hey Lynn, hmm? I'm always here for you and you're always here for me, right? Right. Come back inside, you two. I'm starving. I'll warm up dinner, Dad. Guess what I made, Will? What? Mushroom rice. Oh. Shh. Chirp, chirp. Looks like they're sound asleep. Crick. Roof. Shh. Let's let them sleep in a little today. And we'll wish mom a happy birthday in the meantime. Happy birthday, honey. I think the girls are finally starting to get along. Oh, your flower. From the grove? Willow? But how does she find a blossom during this time of year? I guess it's no surprise. It's as if the whole forest is her friend, don't you think? Thank you.